Hey, joining me now, we welcome back uh, Congressman James Comer of Kentucky, uh, chair of the House Oversight Committee. Mr. Comer, thank you ever so much for being very accessible to all of us, and we appreciate it. So let me just begin with Merrick Garland slow walking. That apparently is what the whistleblower is saying, even though they don't want the whistleblower to testify. I regard that as a dirty trick. What's your take on it, sir? It is a dirty trick. I mean, if you look at the evidence of what all the Biden family has gotten away with thus far, uh, there are very few third world countries that would allow their leaders to get away with the things that the Biden family has gotten away with. I don't think that uh, Attorney General Garland ever dreamed that Republicans on the House Oversight Committee would have access to those bank violations at the Treasury cabinet, much less bank records that show uh, all the different schemes that the Biden family had with respect to countless LLCs transferring money from one account to the other to try, in my opinion, to hide the source of where the foreign wires were coming from and then to deceive the IRS about the taxability of those uh, direct deposits from our adversaries around the world. Uh, one thing that I think Merrick Garland is going to have to deal with with all this is it's not just the president's son. It's not just the president's son and the president's brother. It's the entire family. Uh, we've been very transparent about the fact that we've now determined nine Biden family members got suspicious wires from our adversaries around the world. Uh, we, we went in thinking there were around a dozen LLCs. Now we see that there are you know, you know, many, many more LLC. So this is a very complicated case. And I think that Merrick Garland was just hoping it would go away. The media would continue to turn a blind eye and Republican investigators would never find anything out about this. Do you think, Jim Comer, do you think Merrick Garland is in fact slow walking, telling these other U.S. attorneys not to cooperate with uh, Mr. Weiss in Delaware? I mean, that is an allegation, but that's an allegation a lot of people are making, including this whistleblower or through his lawyer. And if that's true, that's like a dirty trick. It is like a dirty trick, and it sure looks like they're slow, slow walking this. I mean, let, let's look at what we've unearthed so far on the House Oversight Committee. This involves many Biden family members. And for the IRS to just come in or the Department of Justice to just come in and cherry pick the president's son, that's not going to cut it. And to just cherry pick the president's son and say, we're going to get you on tax evasion or some misdemeanor gun charge, that, that doesn't even scrape the surface of the potential wrongdoing that this family has done. So I think that uh, they've got a lot more complicated case than they understand what to fully uh, do with, and they also never dreamed that Republican investigators would be able to pinpoint this much evidence of this much wrongdoing with this many members of the Biden family. Um, so how will this work, sir? Um, will you have the whistleblower testify before your committee? Uh, and let me ask, uh, will you, have you asked uh, Merrick Garland to testify? Because you're putting them under oath, are you not? Yeah, the whistleblower will testify uh, or do a deposition with the House Ways and Means Committee because uh -huh. they have jurisdiction over the IRS. Uh, now, we're continuing to subpoena bank records. We're continuing to follow the money. That's what our investigation is all about. This is an investigation of Joe Biden. But what we're finding is it's a, it deals with a lot more than just the president's son and the president's brother. Uh, we believe there are even more Biden family members that we just haven't identified transactions yet. Uh, look, we went into this thinking that there were, you know, a, a handful of banks and a handful of LLCs. But uh, the number of banks, the number of LLCs, the number of accounts and the number of Bidens continues to grow each week. So this is a very complicated family scheme. Uh, you could say it looks like organized crime, but because it's a Biden, it yeah. would be disorganized crime. <laughs> and we're going to get to the bottom of this uh, once we put together a, a trace of all the different money all the different accounts and all the different wires from the different adversaries around the world, then we'll start bringing people in to testify either in a committee hearing or in a deposition. Family members. You're going to bring in family members? Well, if they'll come, that's going to be a lot harder. But once we bring in all the different uh, people that were involved in these schemes, outside family members, once we have all the bank records showing uh, the money that the Bidens took in, then I don't think it'll it'll matter whether the Bidens come or not. We're going to give the Bidens an opportunity 
there may be subpoenas for the Biden, but at the end of the day, they're going to have an opportunity to defend themselves. But, uh, you know, it's going to be hard to defend the indefensible, Larry, uh, but certainly they'll have their day in front of the House Oversight Committee to explain what the purpose of all these wires were, what the purpose of all these LLCs were, and all these different bank accounts. And it's just, it's, it's much bigger than what people can comprehend. Um, it, yes, 100%. Um, I'm just, last one. At what point, I mean, it, it, all these LLCs, as you describe them, and, you know, all these special treasury uh, accounts, and, and, and how is it that these family members who are really not business people at all, have these LLCs and are getting money from China and Ukraine and wherever they're getting money from. It's really quite remarkable. But my question to you is, at what point does this go into the Oval Office? At what point do we find that there was a sharing of income from these LLCs into the occupant of the Oval Office, Mr. Biden? Well, our informants have told us there is, in fact, uh, there will be evidence where it would point to Joe Biden. Uh, there, there, they had these family schemes that involve paying for things that would involve Joe Biden. So we're going to continue to dig. We're going to continue to 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 track the money, uh, both the money coming into the Biden accounts and the money going out of the Biden account. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've got confidence that uh, that the president was involved. Look, Larry, obviously the president was involved in some form or fashion because you don't have rank-and-file family members, just uh, right. average people off the street right. that are getting million-dollar wires from adversaries around the world, including the Chinese Communist Party. So uh, we know uh, that uh, from talking to the, to the informants that were involved in some of these schemes, that Joe was directly involved. He had knowledge and that uh, we do believe, in fact, he was getting financial benefit in some areas from these family business schemes. All right. Chairman James Comer, we appreciate your time very, very much. Good luck on all these explorations and investigations. Thank you, sir.